Hey, second graders, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab. So for the, for the past couple of weeks, before the break, we were talking about what we call natural resources. We talked about um, water and we talked about rocks. Today, we're going to continue our discussion with um, making sure we understand the difference between what we call natural resources and man-made resources. So let's go ahead and get started. Natural and man-made resources. And your target says, I can distinguish between natural and man-made resources. So in other words, that word distinguish just means being able to tell the difference between them, knowing what makes something a natural resource and what makes something a man-made resource. So a natural resource, hopefully you remember, is something we use that comes from nature. Natural means from the earth. A resource is something we use. Can you think of an example of a natural resource? Go ahead and pause the video. And then when you come back, um, see the ones that I came up with. See what you can think of. Here are some that I thought of. Examples of natural resources, rocks, water. We've talked about the, both of those in second grade. Soil, we didn't really talk about that much in second grade, but you did in first grade and kindergarten. Um, oil, oil is made from um, decomposed plants and animals that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. Sunshine and clouds are both natural resources and plants and trees are natural resources. So all of these things that come from are things that come from the earth that we use. What is a man-made resource? Well, it's just like the name sounds like. A man-made resource is a resource made by humans. They do not occur naturally in our environment. So these are things that are made by people that we use. Go ahead and see what are some you can think of. And then when you're ready, come back. Here are some man-made resources I thought of. Now, keep in mind, there are so many more. If you look around, you can see, you can find tons of things all around you that um, are made by people that we use here. But here are just some that I came up with. Cars, spoons, iPhones, pencils, shoes, and pizza. Now we have to be careful when we are talking about food. You cannot just say food because some food is natural. Plants or um, fruits and vegetables grow on plants and trees. So those would be considered a natural resource like an apple or a strawberry or a cucumber. Those grow on plants and trees naturally. So those are natural resources. But things that people make like pizza, you can't just grow and pick a pizza off of a tree, right? That would be man-made, okay? So make sure when you are distinguishing, you're not just saying food, you need to be more specific than that. All right, so if you're at home, what you can do is you can go on a scavenger hunt. The kids in class will be doing a scavenger hunt as well. We'll be walking around the science lab, looking looking out the window, seeing um, how many natural resources and, and man-made resources we can find. I'd love to see what you come up with. You can take a picture and send it to me. Um, you could draw them or list them and send that to me as well. There's my email address for you. <clears throat> Remember, this is not required. This is just something that you can do for fun um, and for extra practice. So the kids here in the science lab are going to be doing a little scavenger hunt. And then there is a this little sort for them. So we will do this together. The paper looks like this and it says classifying resources. We're gonna, we cut out these pictures. We're gonna sort them in the, in the correct category. So this one says natural resources. This one says man-made, just for some extra practice. So let's go ahead and start with wood. I'll give you a minute to think about if wood is natural or man-made. And wood is a natural resource. Wood comes from trees. Now, 
something like a pencil. Let's talk about a pencil real quick. Pencils are made from wood, but pencils are not a natural resource. Pencils are a man-made resource. They are just made from a natural resource. It's same thing like with any kind of furniture that's made from wood, okay? But wood itself is a natural resource. It comes from trees. Our next one is a vest, like you would wear over your shirt. I'll give you a second to think about it. And a vest is a man-made resource. Clothes are man-made. All right, our next one is a plant. Take a second, come up with your answer. And plants are natural, natural resources. They come from the earth. Our next one is yarn that you would make like a sweater or something out of a scarf. And yarn is a man-made resource. It is made by people. Next, we have sunlight. Hopefully you came up with sunlight is a natural resource. Our next one is a key. And a key is a man-made resource. People make keys. We have a plastic bottle. What do you think, man-made or natural? Plastic is man-made. We have gloves to wear on your hands, to keep your hands warm. Gloves are also man-made. Oh, here we have one we haven't really talked about a whole lot. This one is coal. Coal is actually a natural resource. Coal is what we call a fossil fuel, which means that it is it was created by the um, decomposed remains of plants that lived in swamps hundreds of millions of years ago. And as they were cut, as the, these plants died in a swamp, they sank to the bottom over hundreds of millions of years, they've been covered up by layers of sediment that squeezed all the water out and over lots and lots and lots of time, turned it into coal. And we use coal, we burn coal for lots of things. Um, to create electricity, to power our homes and schools and buildings. That's the main reason we use coal. Then we have oil, which I kind of mentioned before. It is similar to coal. It is also a fossil fuel. Um, oil was created from the decomposed remains of plants and animals that lived in the ocean hundreds of millions of years ago. So things like plankton, and micros other microscopic organisms, when they died, they sank to the bottom of the ocean. And again, over hundreds of millions of years, they have been um, compressed by the sediment and all the water has been squeezed out and then it's, it is now oil. And oil, we use oil for lots of things. Um, oil is what makes plastic, styrofoam, Lots of other things that we use are from are created from oil. Then we have two more. We have water. We did talk a lot about this one before the Thanksgiving break. Water is a natural resource. Very, very, very important. And our last one is a sock. And a sock is a man-made resource. So there you go. We have natural resources that are created by the earth man-made resources that are created by people. I hope that you had fun learning about natural and man-made resources, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.